Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to break down this morning is start your Saturday off right. We are going to dispel some of the most egregious use of hopium in an opinion piece to say that Republicans, the young ones, they're just all up against their gun rights. They're all for gun control. It's over. Just stay the course, lefties. The only problem is... When reality hits them, it hits them pretty hard in this article. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Now, of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We would love to have you help us spread freedom twice daily, and thank you for that consideration. So now let's take a look at the article we're going to read today through ground.news. Now this is the source that I go to to show you what's happening behind the story. Who's paying for it? Who owns it? What's the potential bias? And what's the factuality rating? So check this out. Let's look at the article right here. Younger Republicans more likely to favor gun laws than old ones. So that would imply that, you know, gun rights are gone, right? Well, hold your horses. Now another thing that I really like about ground news is they show you a personalized following of whatever you want to hit. So if you want to look at gun rights, it shows you all the things that are happening in gun rights and also gives you the potential media bias breakdown. It gives you ownership. It gives you rankings. It's something worth a look. There's a link in the description box below, ground.news slash Langley. You get 30% off and five bucks a month or Vantage, Vantage subscription. And thank you so much to them for partnering with me on this. Let's get into this. As I mentioned, here's the article. Younger Republicans more likely to favor gun laws than older ones. You know, the hopium is strong, but let me show you the case they're laying out. And I can't wait to hear, for you to hear what the Republicans are actually saying that they're basing this also off of. New Orleans. Public opinion polling by the Pew Research Center says nearly two-thirds of Americans expect gun violence to increase over the next few years. The politics of enacting more restrictive gun laws has long divided most Republicans and Democrats, and now the issue appears to be creating a divide among generations of Republicans as well. Several polls released this year show young Republicans are likely to support more restrictive gun laws than older voters in the party. So there's the setup. Well, the only problem with that setup is, again, it's not backed up by what they actually show you in this article. So it's almost like this headline was meant to grab attention and d deliver a point without reading it. But let's hear from March for Our Lives, because I'm sure there's a reason that they've delivered. You know, Davy Hogg's group? Quote, it makes sense, says Ryan Bardo, communications manager for March for Our Lives, a student-led organization that demonstrates in support of gun control legislation. Young people bear the brunt of the gun violence epidemic. We've lived with active shooter drills, constant news coverage of mass shootings, and we've lost friends to firearms. There isn't room for partisan politics when lives are on the line. Well, that's what they're saying. All of this to set up the idea that Republicans on the younger side are against gun rights. Well, let's hear from the actual Republicans in the article, and you tell me what this sounds like. <sighs> Stalinasis, this is one of the Republicans, was quick to point out, however, that he doesn't support all or even most gun control measures. That doesn't jive with the headline. Quote, gun control is broad, he said, maintaining that people should be able to own guns for self-protection. Okay, it sounds pretty standard to me. For me, I'm in favor of stronger background checks that already exist. I don't think anyone should have automatic weapons. Well, that's in the NFA. That's already existing law. And because mental illness is such a big part of these shootings, I think we need to screen better for mental health before we give someone a gun. So screening through background checks, which already exists, everything that he's talking about in the Republican turning against their elders here already exists. They're not looking for more restrictions. They're just stating what already exists. But let's continue. Because again, the hopium is strong. Listen to this from the same article. Quote, young Republicans seem in agreement that the problem isn't guns. Okay, does this sound like the older guard here? But that the wrong people have access to them, Johnson said. Okay, so like criminals, old guard the kinds of laws they're supporting are popular because they don't fully remove guns. They look at limiting who should have them. Background checks already exist. Criminals and felons don't have guns. This is already existing law. This is already existing talking points on the right. These, All they're doing is they're saying it in a younger, less experienced way. The left is coming out and going, see, younger Republicans, you older ones, you guys are doomed when you are all gone and dead. Gun rights are gone because the younger ones are here. The younger ones are saying the exact same thing that we're saying. Oh, it hurts. But let's continue because 
for juxtaposition, again, look at the contrast here. This is an older Republican. But for some older Republicans, even that is too restrictive. Alberto Perez, a 44-year-old development officer from Blairsville, Georgia, believes that younger members of his party will change their minds as they get older and take on more responsibility. Because as you get older, you get more conservative. Quote, they don't bear the weight of raising a family and having to keep them safe, Perez told VOA. I may agree in theory with some sensible gun laws that make it more difficult to purchase and keep a gun, but the reality is that criminals and psychopaths will find a way around it and that puts the rest of us in danger. Focus on that last part. Psychopaths and criminals break the laws anyway, so we need to be able to defend ourselves. Does this sound like it's jiving towards the younger element just completely abandoning their gun rights? No. In fact, what I showed you already was the, the closest thing that they could find to wishy-washy. Here's what's happening in California for Republican youth. While support for gun control among your young Republicans is growing, a majority of young party members still oppose restrictions. Then what's the point of this article? Ugh. Anyway, quote, not only do we believe, not believe, excuse me, not only do we not believe that there should be any further gun restrictions put in place, said Mark Basta, 19-year-old vice chairman of California College Republicans, but we believe all current restrictions should be repealed because they are unconstitutional and they punish law-abiding citizens rather than actually affect criminals. Any young Republicans who support gun control, he continued, are most likely doing so because of a lack of knowledge and brainwashing by their schools and peers. Could that be more hardlined? America. So this whole myth that the March for Our Lives and Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety is saying that even the youth on the Republican side are coming out against you, even though the Republicans and conservative families are reproducing at a much faster rate in the United States than the Democrat leftist side are, much higher rate. Younger uh, Republican males, or excuse me, younger males in the next generation are heavily leaning conservative. Yeah, the entire thing is about hopium. And we are making a difference, which is why this channel exists, which is why you guys are here, which is why we spread this everywhere. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope this started off your Saturday right, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.